stand on the crossroads of history and feel the intense rumblings of the apocalypse. They fly by, names and faces you've seen before. Names like Kennedy, Sinatra, Monroe, Castro. Names that made history. But this time, everything you thought you knew is up for grabs. This time, you're traveling with Momo. He was funny, he was comical, he was witty, he was, he was smart. Said he was a little out there, so to speak, crazy. Well, you walked into a room and everybody turned their head. He wanted to control the world. Momo, Sam Giancana, a sharp dressing guy in shades who takes way too little credit for way too much. Cross him just once, wake up dead. Just ask Kennedy. Can you tell us anything about any of your operations? Or you just uh, uh, giggle every time I ask you a question? I declined to answer because I always believe my answer might turn them criminal. I thought only little girls giggled, Mr. Jean Connor. <laughs> Then he gets involved with the CIA in a secret attempt to whack Fidel Castro. During the 1960 presidential elections, you'll see how Sinatra acts as a bagman, secretly running cash between Momo and the campaign fund. Then you'll see how Momo tips the close national election right there in Chicago, the old fashioned way, with intimidation, ballot box stuffing, and votes from the grave. You'll watch Momo fall like a ton of bricks for singer Phyllis McGuire. He was magnetic. He was crazy about her. She was like a spitfire. She knew just how far to go. And Momo's old pal Marilyn Monroe, she gets a little too close to the fire for her own good. You think she killed herself? That's what Momo wanted you to think. Then you'll see Momo's final revenge, a well-executed plan that almost comes off perfectly. When one little detail goes wrong, you'll see why Momo has to put the arm on his old gun-running pal, Jack Ruby. He had like six months to live with cancer or something. The world will never know the true facts. It makes sense that he would do that for the, you know, take one for the, for the team there. I'm just a patsy. Oswald, I don't think, could figure out how to rob a gumball machine. It's a mystery we've never really been able to, to solve. I was talking to the owner of the restaurant, and this was maybe a week or two before Sam was killed. Well, I know that another crew was on it. It was a weird feeling leaving that night. Well, I would think that when... Butch pulled that 22 out on him, I think then he might have started regretting things. At the end, he was by himself, just staring out the window. Authorized by Sam Giancana's own family members, full of secrets never known until now, and backed up by FBI surveillance files only recently made public. <laughs>